Hello everyone, welcome to the session number 4 of the same chapter that is chapter number 3 human reproduction. In the previous sessions we understood male reproductive system, female reproductive system and how there will be a synthesis of gametes that takes place in the reproductive gonads and then in this session you are going to study graphene follicle. Before entering into the graphene follicle you need to understand the transverse section of the ovary. So ovaries are like this, there is a presence of two ovaries in the abdomen region on either side of the abdomen region. When we take the transverse section of the ovary and observe under the microscope it is like this almost oval in shape and it encloses a liquid part. This liquid part is said to be stroma and the stroma is differentiated into outermost. This part is said to be peripheral region. This is said to be cortex and inner part is the medulla. So, when we take the transverse section of the ovary and observe under the microscope, you can see it is in the form of oval shape and it encloses liquid. That liquid, complete liquid is said to be stroma which is differentiated into outer cortex and inner medulla. So, in the cortex what happens? There is a presence of germinal epithelial cell which undergoes both mitotic division and meiotic division. We studied this in oogenesis. So that the germinal epithelial cell undergoes both mitotic and meiotic division, there will be a formation of a female gamete that is said to be egg or ovum or ootid. So this egg is surrounded by number of follicular cells and this is said to be what do you call primary follicle. Again which in turn surrounded by number of again follicular cells to form secondary and finally it is converted into tertiary follicle and the mature ovarian follicle is now said to be what do you call graphene follicle. So first there will be a formation of egg and the egg is now converted into primary, secondary and tertiary and the mature ovarian follicle is said to be graphene follicle. Now coming to the structure of graphene follicle. So egg is present or located in the center and it is surrounded by here surrounded by follicular cells and here egg is surrounded by two layers outer zona pellucida in external to this there is a presence of corona radiata egg is surrounded by two layers zona pellucida and then corona radiata and this is the egg and it is present in a bed of follicle or a group of cells which gives protection and this region is said to be cumulus ophorus. So first egg or ovum or ooted that is present in the center which is surrounded by zona pellucida corona radiata which gives protection and this whole structure that is present or situated in a bed of follicle that is said to be cumulus ophorus. Then there is a presence of a cavity here. This cavity is said to be antrum and around this you can see there is a presence of multicellular region or a structure. This is said to be membrana granulosa. Around the antrum or the cavity there is a presence of uh, membrana granulosa multi-layered or multicellular region. And then this membrana granulosa which in turn surrounded by theca interna, theca externa. Theca refers to layer. Theca interna, this is the glandular layer with the very small blood vessels and theca externa, it is a connective tissue with large 
blood vessels so this is about the graafian follicle so the mature ovarian follicle is said to be graafian follicle so the egg is that present in the center which is surrounded by zona pellucida corona radiata and the egg is around egg is situated or the egg is located in a bed of follicle that is said to be cumulus oophorus and then there is a presence of a cavity that is said to be antrum antrum is externally surrounded by membrana granulosa which in turn surrounded by theca interna theca externa theca interna glandular cells with the smaller blood vessels theca externa connective tissue with the larger blood vessels this is about the graafian follicle next is structure of an ovum or egg or ovum it is oval or a spherical in shape and it is differentiated into animal pole and vegetal pole this is the animal pole and this is the vegetal pole and here there is a presence of a liquid that liquid is said to be o plasma which is surrounded by a plasma membrane that is nothing but it is said to be o lemma o lemma in turn surrounded by two layers 
zona pellucida and then corona radiata usually nucleus is found towards the animal bone so structure of an ovum it is a female gamete synthesized in the ovary almost spherical in shape and it is differentiated into animal pole and vegetal pole and here it encloses a liquid part the liquid is said to be o plasma and it is surrounded by a thin layer that is nothing but plasma membrane it is said to be o lemma and the nucleus is found towards the animal pole and it is surrounded by here the plasma membrane is surrounded by two layers zona pellucida and then corona radiata and here towards the peripheral region in this region there is a presence of a microscopic structures these are said to be what do you call cortical granules here there is a presence of number of cortical granules and these granules release during fertilization so this is about the structure of an ovum structure of mammalian sperm it is haploid male gamete motile in nature and it is synthesized in the testis and it is in the form of a tadpole shape that means towards the terminal region it is slightly swollen and towards the base it is tapering therefore it is said to be tadpole shape and it is differentiated into four parts first is the head very small narrow region is the neck and the middle part is the middle piece last is the tail coming to the first one is the head head is the this part is the head this is the terminal region it is in the form of disc shape disc shape structure and in the center there is a presence of nucleus and just above the nucleus there is a presence of like this inverted cup shaped structure this inverted cup shaped structure is said to be acroso which secretes acrosin and second one is hyaluronidase these two enzymes are secreted from the acros acrosome so that it helps in <coughs> fertilization so first part is the head head is the terminal region and it is disc shape in the center there is a presence of prominent nucleus and just above the nucleus there is a presence of inverted cup shaped structure that is said to be acrosome which secretes acrosin and hyaluronidase these two are the enzymes which helps in fertilization next part is the very narrow region this is a very narrow part very short part this is said to be neck in the neck there is a presence of two centrioles the upper one is said to be proximal the basal one is said to be distal centriole so this distal centriole which produces very much elongated thin filament like structure that is said to be axile filament so this is about the neck neck it is very short and very narrow region and here there is a presence of two centrioles proximal centriole distal centriole distal centriole that produces very much elongated fiber like structure or a filament like structure that this is said to be axile filament now coming to the next part is the middle piece so from here to here this part is the middle piece and it is a major part in the mammalian sperm in the center there is a presence of axile filament so axile filament is like this and it is wrapped by a sheet of mitochondria this is nothing but the mitochondrial sheet so that it covers the axile filament this is said to be nebencheron so that it provides energy for the movement of sperm then coming to the last is the tail tail is the basal part and here it is differentiated into main piece and end piece main piece means here this is the axile filament and it is surrounded by fibrous layer and the end piece means axile filament without the 
fibrous layer. So this is about the structure of mammalian sperm. So mammalian sperm, it is a male gamete, haploid and it is tadpole in shape and it is said to be ultra microscopic. We cannot see the sperm in an ordinary microscope. Therefore, it is said to be ultra microscopic and here it is differentiated into or it consists of head, neck, middle piece and tail. Head is the terminal region and it is disc shape and in the center there is a presence of nucleus. In both the nucleus there is a presence of inverted cup shaped structure that is said to be acrosome which produces or synthesizes or secretes the two types of enzymes acrosin and hyaluronidase so that these two mainly helps in fertilization. And the neck, it is a very short and very narrow region and here the neck which consists of proximal centriole and distal centriole. Here the distal centriole which produces very much elongated fiber like structure that is said to be axile filament. And then coming to the next is the middle piece. It is the major part in the mammalian sperm. In the center, there is a presence of an axile filament which is surrounded by or wrapped by mitochondrial sheath and this is said to be nebencheron so that it provides energy for the moment of sperm. Last is the tail which consists of main piece and end piece. Main piece means axile filament with the fibrous layer end piece means axile filament without the fibrous layer. So this is about the structure of an ovum and mammalian sperm. So in this session I hope you understood the transverse section of the ovary. Transverse section of the ovary which contains the liquid part is the stroma which is differentiated into outer cortex and inner medulla in the cortex region there is a presence of uh, development of egg or there is a presence of primordial germ cell which undergoes both mitotic and meiotic division that results in the formation of egg and it is surrounded by number of follicular cells to form primary, secondary, tertiary and the mature ovarian follicle is said to be graphene follicle and the graphene follicle in the center of the graphene follicle there is a presence of egg that egg is surrounded by zona pellucida, corona radiata and this structure is present in a bed of follicle that is cumulus oophorus and here there is a presence of a large cavity that is said to be antrum which in turn surrounded by membrana granulosa, multicellular region or the layer and it gives protection which in turn is covered by theca interna, theca externa. Then coming to the uh, structure of an ovum, it is a female gamete synthesized in the ovary and here it is spherical or oval in shape and here differentiated into animal and vegetal pole. The liquid is said to be O-plasma, plasma membrane is said to be O-lemma and the nucleus is found towards the animal pole and the cortical granules that is present towards the peripheral region which in turn surrounded by zona pellucida, corona radiata and then structure of a mammalian sperm, it is a haploid, motile, male gamete, ultra microscopic and it is synthesized in the testis and it is differentiated into head, it is the terminal region in the center presence of nucleus and just above the nucleus there is a presence of an inverted cup shaped structure is an acrosome which synthesizes acrosin and hyaluronidase, these two helps in fertilization and then coming to the neck, neck it is a very short and very narrow region which contains uh, proximal and distal centriole, distal centriole that produces very much elongated fiber like structure or a filament like structure that is said to be axile filament and the main piece it is the major part in the sperm it consists of a central part is the axile filament and it is wrapped by 
mitochondrial sheet that is said to be nebenchyron so that it provides energy last part is the tail which consists of a main piece and end piece the complete sperm is surrounded by a thin layer that layer is said to be plasma membrane so this is about the graphene follicle mammalian sperm and ovum i hope you understood this session thank you